Hello everyone, Tim again, timscomputerfix.net. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install updated drivers on a Samsung laptop. This is a Samsung 7 Spin model 740U5M. So this, uh, these are very good laptops. Uh, but the one thing that the customer, this customer complained about when he brought it to my shop was that uh, this latest Windows 10 update, 1803 at the time here, totally just broke his keyboard backlight. So it, the backlight was, which was working fine before that update. After that update, it stopped working and he went through and tried to find ways to repair it and he couldn't find anything. So, uh, and this is one of the main reasons why he bought this laptop is because of the backlight that he needs for whatever reason. So, uh, he had me look into it and I'm going to show you something with Samsung that's kind of interesting. But, um, and uh, this is going to be tough for me to do. What I'm going to do is just zoom in with the camera and hopefully everybody can uh, see what I'm doing here. But let me just uh, zoom in and I'm going to explain a few things to everyone about going about updating drivers for this Samsung 7 Spin. So for whatever reason, Windows 10 does not fully roll out or push the latest updates for this Samsung 7. And I've been doing a little bit of research on that. Not really sure why that is, but I'm going to show you here how to get the latest updates uh, straight from the manufacturer's site. Now, you would think normally if you go to samsung.com and you'll see here their main page and if you go to computing, well actually let's go to support and we'll do support product support scroll down we see here phones, TVs, blah, 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 blah. We'll say show more products. And down here you'll see Windows laptops. And there's notebook. So we want to select notebook. And from there, we want to select our model, which is the 7 series. And we will select the Series 7 Spin, and then you hit Confirm. And then what Samsung does is gives you an option here that says Manuals and Downloads. Click on that, and it brings you down to two options, Software or User Manuals. And if you click Download, agree to their little thing here, what it does is it downloads its own proprietary software package. It's downloading right here. So once that's downloaded, it's in a zip. I've already downloaded this once, but I'll do it here again for video purposes. Show in folder. So you can see here it's called SW Update. Which, uh, which is what Samsung has been doing uh, for quite some time now, is they'll package up their own software updating utility. And if I go up to where that's been extracted, you'll see you'll have a setup. But in Windows 10, as soon as you double click that, you're greeted with this error. The app has been blocked for your protection. Now there's no way to bypass this. There's no way to bypass this and force this install. Plus, this is version 2.1.14.1. I don't know when the last time that's been updated. So that is not, uh, this is not going to work for you. Um, so there's another way though uh, to get, uh, by the way, that's the only way that Samsung gives you through their website to get updates to get driver updates, current updates. So that does not work. 
what you have to do is you have to go to the Microsoft Store. And at the Microsoft Store, you want to search for Samsung Update. And that is going to give you an app. And you click Get. And that will and follow the instructions on there. And that will install. I'll show you here. I've already downloaded it, so we'll minimize that. And that will install a tool called Samsung Update right here. And I'll click that, and that opens up the utility. So from this point, this will populate all of the drivers on your system, and it'll show you which drivers are current and which drivers are outdated. And I've already updated some of these drivers uh, that was out of date. And now he's had this computer for almost a year and these drivers in here were out of date. So that just says that Windows Update and Windows 10 did not push these. Here are the other ones that Windows 10 did not push. Right here. All of these drivers, 11 of them still left to update, needs to be updated. But what I want to say is there was a firmware update. Uh, I'm sorry. There was a BIOS update for this laptop. And by installing that BIOS update, I was able to ha get his backlight to start working again. So we'll just install one here. This is a, here's an updated sound driver. You just uh, click install and it'll go through the process of installing that for you. We're just waiting for it here. It says installing. This is a, actually, this is a fairly large uh, uh, sound driver here, 344, 335, 345 megabytes. So we'll let that install. Okay, as you can see here, there, the driver is being installed. So why in the world is it Samsung? making you go through these steps instead of the updates automatically coming down through Windows updates is, is beyond me. I can understand though that the BIOS update uh, doesn't. So and then now it just tells you to restart and uh, we'll restart and rerun that app. And we'll see what the utility reads after that. Right, so we have rebooted. Let's just give it a second here to see if that utility pops back up. Not sure if it recalls itself or not. If not, that's okay. We'll just go back in. Start that program again. Samsung update. Starting up and it'll repopulate and now we don't see the sound driver anymore up here at the top. But it does show you down here that it was updated, up to date. So it's pretty nice. And then you just do the same thing to all of these drivers. Like I say one more time, uh, the, um, the bio, there was an update to the chipset driver that I just did. And then there was an update to the BIOS, which I don't even uh, see here, down here anymore, but that's okay. It was there and we uh, updated the BIOS. Also, there's an option to update all here. So you can update all if you want to just have them go through up and, and install all of them and update them also. So anyways, uh, that's great, and I'll back this camera out and show you the backlight. And as you can see, backlight is working just fine, just how he wants. And that's, that's great, a nice little tip. Again, this is how you get the latest updates for Samsung laptops running Windows 10. Go to the App Store, download the 
Samsung update app and you're good to go. I'm Tim with timscomputerfix.net. Until next time, everyone. See you soon.